But how does Facebook work as a big business? This is its headquarters, south of San Francisco, at the end of a residential street in Silicon Valley. Looking round the office, it's hard to guess who's on work experience and who's a top exec. Zuckerberg himself sits at an ordinary desk, just like everyone else. As the company has grown, he's tried to hang on to the energy and flexibility of a startup. Move fast and break things is its unofficial motto. And Zuckerberg is still closely involved in the details. He spends an enormous amount of time in the office. One of the ways that he really operates is to engage with our engineers and our product leaders around the design of the new products that we're building. But when he's not in the office, he's usually at home on Facebook talking to all of our employees about different things that we're working on. Andrew Bosworth is Facebook's chief engineer. Before anything gets launched, he has to run it past the boss. He's less concerned with the code these days. He lets us deal with that. But um, in terms of the look and feel, and certainly all the integration of, of the products, he is a strong voice. The Zuck review is kind of one of those things that you really work towards and try to make sure that your product is, is really buttoned up. And uh, he uses all the products while you're being developed and, and gives notes, like very like kind of lengthy notes over the weekends. He'll write in four or five paragraphs of things that we need to do differently and tries to provide it the high level direction so we understand why he's doing things the way he's doing them. Facebook has the classic Silicon Valley office style. The food is free. You can get your washing done. There are games to give your brain a rest from programming. Or you can ripstick and work on a knotty coding problem at the same time. Investors had always wanted to buy into Facebook without worrying too much about how it was going to make money. But by 2008, with more than 100 million users, it was time to think seriously about harnessing its huge audience to a profitable business model. But how? Well, there was one company in Silicon Valley that was legendary for having built an audience before finding a way to make money on a grand scale. Google. To work out how to make Facebook pay, Zuckerberg approached one of its star executives Cheryl Sandberg. We had one dinner out publicly at this little restaurant called Flea Street Cafe. After that, we just literally had dinner at my house. And Mark would say sometimes, you know, I'm so sorry I can't invite you over for dinner. But at the time, he only had, I think, a one, not even one bedroom, like a one room apartment. <laughs> he didn't have any furniture. Like he had a futon. He thought that would be awkward, which it would have been. We spent hours, um, dozens and dozens of hours on over weeks, um, just making sure that this was the right fit because I mean, it's, it, um, and that's, that's what's important, right? I mean, there was no question about is she good enough or is our company good enough? It's all like, just are, are we trying to do the same thing? 